So regarding procedure skills, any kid or any patient will be considered a patient. So you will deal with chest drain kit as a patient because simply you need to ask if this patient is taking any blood thinners, if is this patient got any allergy to any latex or any rubber or anything like that. So simple introduction and the scheme for all a procedure skills station. As long as you don't have ordering theater list or not tying, the remaining common things like abscess, drainage, nevus, excision, you need to, to start doing this scheme as if you are dealing with a patient. Chest drain, male catheterization, nevus excision, abscess drainage. Okay, so you will go to the patient and say, you can come here, here. yeah. Okay, hello, I'm Dr. Veda Harvey, one of the treating doctors for you today. Can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Nice to talk to you. Today I have been, okay. Now I need to confirm from the patient that, can I have a look at your bracelet? Yeah, this is the correct patient name. Can I confirm from the notes, please? Okay, thank you. So I have confirmed that this is a correct patient from bracelet and from the notes. Nice to talk to you. Today I have been asked to remove a birth mole in your right thigh and this is going to involve giving you local antiseptic, local numbing agent for you not to feel and will make oval cut to remove this tissue and send it to tissue lab for histopathology analysis to know the nature of these tissues. Is that okay? Okay, baby. Thank you so much. Once the patient said okay, then I need to check with the examiner can you show me that from the patient notes that this is the correct patient, okay, correct procedure, and the yellow consent form being documented, okay? So the procedure name, unavoidable risk, which are the complications, and all options of treatment, including doing nothing, and my, my name or any doctor name from the department signature and patient signature. Okay, thank you so much. So I have confirmed that the consent form is there. Then I need to say that we need to perform home checklist. And I need to ask uh, my patient some questions. So from the home checklist, we need to make sure that this is the correct patient details, procedure, site, site, and the site is marked. Okay, the marking of the site is important. Then I will ask the patient some questions. Regarding your medical and surgical history, I'm going to ask you, do you see your GB for any other medical conditions? Do you take any medications on a regular basis, especially blood thinners? No. And are you allergic to anything like any medication, latex, local antiseptic, local numbing agent, or anything like that? No, thank you so much. So the patient now being asked some questions medical and regarding surgical history. Have you done this before? Any other surgical history or have you ever had surgery? No, thank you so much. Now I finished some of the whole checklist because it's not all for us, okay, because it's before skin incision and before uh, patient leaves operating room, so it's for theater team, but not for bedside stuff like this. Then you prepare your equipments, and in preparation, you don't need to remember everything. You need to say, I need prepping and draining, I need local anesthetic, syringe. He will ask you how many men you want. Then you need to be ready with the equation. Equate, equation of what? From a table in part A, we know that lidocaine without adrenaline, how many? Three men per kg is the maximum allowed dose. And with adrenaline is? Seven. Seven mil per kg. 
This is the maximum allowed dose. And then tolvacaine or chirocaine, two, two, regardless of with or without adrenaline, two mil per kg. Okay, so you tell him, I know that the lidocaine, the maximum allowed dose is three mil per kg. Uh, so without adrenaline, so I need to know the weight of the patient and the percentage. He will tell you, okay, one percentage lidocaine and the patient 70 kilogram. So there is equation, simple equation. You multiply the maximum allowed dose by weight. So three by 70, divided by the percentage, which is one, multiplied by 10 fixed number. This is equation. Again, again, okay. So three mil multiplied by 70 kg. So this is the maximum allowed dose divided by the percentage, which is one, okay. Multiplied by 10, which is a fixed number, okay. If you need me to write it for you, just it's like that. Table, from the table we know, multiplied by kg, the body weight of the patient, okay, divided by the percentage given, multiplied by 10. This is the maximum uh, allowed dose. So 20 ml, so I need 20 ml syringe of 1% lidocaine for this 70 kilogram patient. Excellent. And I need to check the expiry date of this. Anything he gets, expiry date, type, percentage, Then in preparation to the equipment, you will remember what else you want. Prepping and retrieving, local anesthetic being given, you will say, okay, consider being given. And then what's next? If it's abscess drainage, what you want? What you want to open abscess? Scalpel with blade. Scalpel with blade, it's okay. Forceps. Okay. Forceps, two non tooth forceps or tooth to hold the skin. What else? Gauze. Gauze, what else? Betadine, saline, and no. dressing, and tape. Okay? What else? A spatula. You may use your finger or a spatula to make a breakdown for the loculi. Okay? Whatever you do, just ask for. He will tell you this is a sterile area. And this is a non sterile area. So you say, I will uh, after uh, prepping and draping, and I will scrub. Okay, I will have sterile gloves, and I will give, I will make the prepping and draping. Okay, and I will start doing my incision, which could be linear, is okay, or cliche. Okay, so from step number one, now we are in step number six. And then perform the procedure and handle all tools correctly. Okay, for example, this is the scalpel. How to open a scalpel? He will help you opening this one like this. And then you need to handle it, okay, in a correct manner, okay, like this, okay. Once you have it like this, you need to put it in a correct manner, okay, to be safe. You need to be like this and put this inside and insert away from anyone like this or if he is in front of you like this in like empty place you need to be safe very safe okay i'm not safe now because i'm going to do it like this when you do this don't put it here put it in a yellow sharp spin yellow sharp spin okay while you are working, you do three Ds. Discuss, dispose. Discuss, dispose. And at the end, document. Okay? So, I am opening now. Okay? Okay, you will hear the click like this, okay? And you will handle it like this and open by the tip and go with the belly, okay? And 
you will use your little finger as a support and you once you open don't go out open and continue to avoid ragged edges this is basic surgical skills you need to know how to handle the blade how to fire it how to defire it okay procedure disposal while you are working i need the sharp pen he would say consider this is a sharp pen but your marks are big okay and you tell the patient now i have given you local numbing agent local antiseptic and now we are going to make crochet incision uh, like a cross shape incision and we'll uh, do some dressing and this dressing will be changed day by day with the local uh, district nurse or your GP will optimize that for you and will give you one shot of antibiotic and uh, no need for post-operative antibiotic um, and also he will ask you why you made this incision or what are types of dressing you know blah 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 and once you have done this crochet incision okay like this one two okay you ask for sharp pin you will say sharps are coming okay i need your sharp pin okay put it in the your sharp pin and once there is pus expressed you need what's called swab okay once swab i need culture form okay culture and sensitivity form and i need to document in the patient notes to send this for histopathology you will open it and you will find uh, rod with the cotton you will put it and close it and give it to them okay so swab being done then you press to express press to express pass then with your finger in a circular manner or a spatula or hemostat just to break down loculi like this 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 and then saline betadine saline or like betadine saline or saline betadine then saline and then you put your uh, aqua cell aqua cell is like rod of uh, dressing you put it gradually in all directions okay like this and that's it okay and you cut at the end and you put dressing and you will talk to the patient during don't wait to the end to discuss once you have finished thank the patient tell him we finished and ask your consultant to doc document this stuff in the notes. That's it, that's it. Yeah, it's done. <laughs>